Hey guys, today we're going to be learning on how to make a particle field. So let's get right into it and create a new flash file, AS3. And OK. Alright, the first thing that I'm going to do is make the stage black. I'm going to uh, right click and hold down. Or I mean left click and hold down the uh, rectangle tool to go to polystyrene tool. Go over to the properties and tool settings with options. Uh, the style, drop down menu, star, and number sides I'm going to set to 6. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to make a star. Now, I'm going to right click and convert to symbol or F8 for hockey and I'm going to put this to star. I'm going to make sure that it's a movie clip and click OK. Now once you have this done, go to your library, right click on the star and go to properties. You want to click advanced and click export for action script and you'll see that the class name is star. That's very important that we have that class name. So click OK. Now you want to go up to properties again and you want to make sure that you have the symbol selected and make sure have an instance name of star. Now, cut the symbol off stage and we can start getting into after I rename the, uh, the layer. Now, we will start getting into the scripting. So, the, uh, the action script that we're going to be using is right here. So I'm going to copy and paste it onto this one. And I will tell you what everything does pretty much. So, first you have to create a variable container for a movie clip and a new movie clip. So this is saying to make a new movie clip on the stage and that is the actual movie clip right there. Add child container. The root transform perspective projection this um, makes it so when you play your video that the stars that we have are going to seem like they're shooting outward like towards us into our face. So it gives it a more of a 3D perspective. Next, what you have to do is you have to add event listener and make sure that the E and L is uppercase and open parentheses uppercase E event dot enter frame. Make sure that there's all capitals and there that that there is a uh, underscore in the middle and you want to put add star. This right here has to be whatever you named your uh, star symbol, the instance name. So make sure that you have it as your uh, instance name. Then you have to create a function for add star. Next, you want to um. Put the uh, m variable movie clip, and then you want this to be uh, also your instance name because what this is doing is creating the uh, movie clip. mc dot x equals stage stage width. So what this is saying is um this is how it's going to be uh, shooting out on the stage. And that's the X, Y, and Z axis. Then you want to set the velocity. So you want it to um you want it to be between negative two and uh, four. So the uh, math behind this is right here, math dot random, open and close parentheses, times four minus two. So we want to set X, Y, and Z all of these. Then you want MC dot count to be equal to zero. Then you want to 
make another container dot add child MC and add another event listener so and then down here what this does is it makes it so that right here it's saying that once the count of the stars on the stage gets to 100 stars it will start to make them disappear or fade out so it like if you have too many coming out on your stage it's going to uh, slow down your animation so once you have all that done make sure that uh, it's all right you want to control test movie and now you should have something else like that and you'll see once we start to get 100 stars on stage there that they're starting to disappear and that is how you make a uh, basic particle field and you can also see the 3D perspective when they're coming out at us right there so uh, thanks for watching and comment and subscribe